Yeah, I just want to cancel uh, Wukong base, uh, but it does fail, of course. But uh, they end up being in there, so it's actually a super good bait. Is Wukong the jungler, or is he uh, the top laner? Jungler. The jungler. Yeah. So you have to flash the hook. After getting hooked, it's too late, and you will die no matter what. I mean, that's just a micro mistake. They're actually taking your blue buff as well. Like, they're all five down here. Don't even try to fight it. Akali is down here for whatever reason. There's nothing you guys can do. Just return to the lane. The level one is stronger than us, I guess. The level one is far stronger, plus they outnumber you, right? They are five people, while you guys were only three. When we pause this here, right? Always have Lucian up here. Oh. Lucian up here and Bart down here. So you have the brushes to play around. Don't yeah. be on the top side. You want to weave in and out of vision so you can get auto attacks and cues out. And Lucian just wants to prioritize farm, right? Mm -hmm. Not the worst trade here, honestly, no, considering but, level 1 to level 2. Uh, if Lucian doesn't want to play the top side of the bot lane, what should I do? By you going to the brass, he will automatically move up. Right? So here you have to prep the minion. That one. Yep. Plastic. See? No reason to collect that health run right now. Since you're already super healthy. Because you're not gonna fight the 2v2 anyways, right? Like, you can fight the 2v2 after the first reset. When you've gotten uh, some uh, boots or items and illusions gotten something. But right now, they just win all in. They have more damage than you guys. The Q was good, but you got baited by your own Q and ended up going up to auto attack, right? If Nautilus actually just hooks you there, you lose around 30 to 40% of your HP and might be forced to portal away as well, which all sucks. The reason he didn't hook you is because he doesn't know uh, Karthus is in the map, so he's afraid Karthus might be bot lane because he sees his Wukong as top lane, right? Just to give you an explanation to why he didn't do it. So right now, macro wise, super important, right? Wukong just ganked your top lane, he started your blue buff. After his reset here, where do you think he will go? Yeah, because he probably did blue into his bot camp, into top camp, up to gank, right? So that means that his uh, next camp to spawn is probably going to be the Raptor or the Crux. So he's going to be bot side. That means that right now you wanted to push into you guys, try to freeze it right here, and then to reset. Or you wanted to instantly crash into that turret on this cannon menu wave. Those are the two options you have. Set up a freeze, which is 100% uh, the easiest, or crash it. If you don't do either of those and just stay in the lane, you're very receptible to uh, getting ganked and you will be forced uh, off of a lot of minions or worst case scenario die. Remember that Wing the Lucian uh, gives him damage, a lot of damage from his passive. So don't sleep on that when you take these 2v2 fights. There's not, no reason for you to stay here, so this is when you should be resetting. You're not providing anything, right? And after this, now Lucian should reset. Because your wave here is damaged. So the red wave will push in faster than the blue wave will push in. Doing this super, super risky. Also, if Nautilus was still bot lane here and just let Jin reset, then he could freeze right now and you wouldn't be able to play in the lane. And it's not like that extra wave meant anything gold wise, right? Control Lord is super bad. Don't buy the control lord, buy a cloth armor. And then you, of course, go into your cooldown boots into locket, right? But buying a control lord in a lane where you have no control means that you're going to place it down and it's going to get instantly removed. It won't oh, do anything. Man. Control wards are only good if you're winning the lane and want to set up uh, a free path for your jungler to gank. Oh. Right now, you can't do that. So the control ward, if you ever place it, will get instantly removed. Or you can place it behind you. But that means that you are expecting them to dive you, which would be very unlikely as well. So the control wards you, right now, you're, gonna, you're having a backpack. The only usage is for the dragon. And it's super hard for you, a team, to ever get dragon because you have a Karthus. And you have no prior mid lane and you have no prior uh, bot lane, right? Yeah. So you just end up wasting 75 gold to potentially give them 30 gold very soon and some experience. The reason to uh, to risk these trades, you already got your gold. So what you're doing right now is just risking everything for no reason, right? <laughs> you can see it here, right? Like, why did did you need to lose the sixty percent HP? <laughs> these are like it's a super small mistake, but it ends up costing you a lot. 
Yeah, I have to base. Maybe. Yeah, you you can buy your tier two boo, so you should base. So, look at this. Oh, do you see this little flower over the mouse here? Yeah. If you stand on that and aim the mouse right here where I have my mouse, mm. it will always go in. Okay. Just right click here, right on the flower, mouse here, and it will always be placed right here. The moment you see Nautilus uh, hooking uh, the, the Lucian, you have to instantly react by going in front of your Lucian. So he won't get binded as well. Don't just passively watch him get hooked, basically. Oh. You have to be uh, productive after that. Okay. So I should plot the Jin W. Yes, then. It's the W. Oh, no reason to flash once again here, right? You already did. So it's the second flash you end up wasting for no reason, right? I like the portal, the initial play here. If we go back a tiny bit here, right? And just see how... The portal, super, super good. What I want to see from you instantly, right? Is ignite on, Lu on Jin into Q, into W, your Lucian to add more damage, right? Because your W will proc his passive, which is at this point around 40, 50 damage more. You want to just explode the Jin, right? So he, he doesn't do any damage. At this point, you have to instantly, since you didn't use your W, use it on top of Lucian. But you end up using it on top of yourself, right? This is on Lucian? No, nope, you use it on yourself, yeah. You end up placing it in front of yourself. You can see it here. Oh, okay. And then you step, it on, step on it. <laughs> so he doesn't get the movement speed, making it harder for him to kite the set. It's super, super unfortunate, right? Then here, you have to instantly flash away if you want to live. Not hold it. But because you don't flash instantly, you end up being in range of the Akali. If you flash instantly, Akali has to either completely chase you, and then Karthus lives, or uh, turn to Karthus, and maybe Karthus can even outplay the 1v1, right? Because he's a lot more healthy. You can see that here, right? Not enough to kill Akali. But you can see. Can you see the issue with the control ward here? Yeah. You can't place it. Like, you even know that yourself. So you're just having it in your backpack now. He still has flash. Now you're old. I agree with the play. Lucian doesn't. Like, I think it's right. He's afraid of the Nautilus, I guess. He just wants to crash the wave. A bit unfortunate. I think it was the right call to ult the Jinda and try to earn the dive. And I would have done the exact same. I guess he, he thought Nautilus uh, catch the fight. Yeah. The moment you crash here, right? Reset for Cloth Armor and run to Harald. Think bot side here? Big mistake. So this is why I differ from a normal coaching session. We're gonna go very deep into macro, right? So this is it's a huge macro mistake when you stay bot lane here. Reset. Acknowledge that Karthus is bot lane already clear bot side. And Ilao is pushing in, Akali is probably very low, and Zed doesn't really have anything either from the last fight. So it's a super easy Herald to take. And with that Herald, it's a guaranteed at least 320 gold, and will give your entire team a, a very big lead. And since you crash this, it will set up a slope uh, push towards uh, Lucian Tower. So it will take around 30 to 60 seconds before he even gets to Lucian's Tower, meaning that he doesn't lose anything on you roaming. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Yep, fantastic. But, uh, a bit late to uh, go to Herald? No, it's not late. Nine minutes into the game. Like, if this is the perfect time, right? You want to make sure you have winning lanes and you have your jungle at the top side, right? So if you reset right now while he was killing the Raptor camp, instead of taking this fight, he would be clearing out the two other camps while you're moving to Herald. And then it's perfect timing. Place your control ward here. Didn't remove anything. So very soon it's gonna get removed by them and grant them 30 golden experience and then you have successfully donated 105 gold of uh difference to enemy team that's the third of a kill when you put it like that right that is very low maybe you can portal through or do something i would have portaled right here when you move right mm -hmm. and you move up to the raptor camp here i would have instantly portaled from here right in front of his tier 1 turret and hope he was just recording there 
Because, no, like, you already know where Wukong is, you know where Nautilus is, so you know you're not puddling into anyone that would potentially be able to kill you, right? Then you have to help Cyrus crash this wave instantly, instead of just leaving after placing Hell Shrine. So, help crash, so Cyrus can get the best recall off. You can see how much time he's wasting right now. If Zed is now holding the wave, or if Wukong returns, then your Cyrus is completely fucked. This is a big macro mistake as well. Like you're back bot lane here. Does, no, uh, does Lucian need you right now? No. no. So why are you bot lane? To take experience? <laughs> I'm sorry if it sounds rough. I'm just like, it, it needs to be like clear that what doesn't look like a mistake is actually hindering your team. And it doesn't really benefit you either, right? I'm, I'm really understanding. Uh, That's good. That's good. That's what we're here for, right? And you can see now we can get the Herald. So your next move now is Herald will very likely be placed either mid lane or top lane because it makes most sense to try to funnel gold into the assassins of a, a Wukong's team rather than Lydian Nautilus, right? So you always want to be around mid side from now on. You don't want to use Herald, uh, not Herald, but before Herald is getting used. So don't use Alt when engaged. Your entire job now is to totally cock block the Wukong so he can place Herald. So now you want to, after this plating, put a ward here, you reset, get a cloth armor, magic resist, and you go back on the, on the map. Don't stay for this wave here, it's gonna take too long. Yeah, I'm over forcing the mm -hmm. It's uh, like, there's nothing, no reason for it. Lucian is low on mana, probably has around like seven, eight hundred gold, maybe even a bit more. While they have just uh, used all their gold and a full mana, so super easy for them, right? Don't greet for 5 seconds to take a control ward. Like, it, it won't do anything that you remove it. It doesn't benefit you. Besides you losing momentum, right? Even though it feels good to remove a control ward, it actually didn't benefit you. Yep, good. And then you always run from base towards mid lane, and from mid lane you decide where you want to go. You don't just run directly bot lane. There's no reason to go bot lane. So pushing towards Lucian. Arthas is back uh, down there as well to cover for Lucian. So you should instantly try to see... Right now, what I'm thinking is... Ilao is fighting the Akali, right? If Akali wins this, Wukong is very likely up here, and he places the Herald and takes the tower. If you move to expect that, even if nothing happens, best case scenario, you're there to alt deter it. Worst case scenario, now he wins it, or none of them dies, or Wukong isn't up there. And then you just rotate towards mid lane, fix mid lane, and then you go back bot lane. You don't benefit really from going directly from base to bot. Okay. You're on Herald duty. And you can see now Wukong is top lane, so very li likely Herald is going to be placed up there. Dragon is spawning in 15 seconds, so you should go top side, alt the turret, then go to dragon. Like, they don't need you to do dragon. If you can block the Herald while getting dragon, they have wasted an objective while you got an objective. Lucky Wukong resets here instead of pushing. I think that's a big mistake. But at least it uh, makes up for your mistake as well. Mm -hmm. Do not use Alt on here on Jin, even though it's very, very... You can see your control ward is now gone, and it hasn't done anything. Mm -hmm. Don't Alt. So, by, by using Alt like that, you just gave them at least 320 gold. And a lot of momentum. Nice. He tried to steal it and uh, failed. Just auto attack for your slow. Yep. Don't be afraid of getting the kill. It's okay. You need to add the slow to make sure he actually dies, right? I'm right now, to nothing to. Kills. Yep. Right now, you have nothing to do on map. Crest into turret. Crest into turret. Crest into turret. You have 1k gold. Reset by a uh, by a Kinton gem and Aegis. There's no reason for you to now go into that jungle, as it just ruined like. It, it wasted so much momentum, right? What did, did that take? 8 seconds from killing Wukong to resetting? Yeah. It's a lot of time while you end up losing a lot of time on the map. This is good. Moving from base to uh, to mid lane. And then you decide where to go. He's dead. You play by set, but you should be able to collapse. You can only do that because you're actually moving from mid. Ah, okay, never mind. Hexake portals. It's maybe that. if I had based instantly, maybe I would just 
if you didn't waste the eight seconds, you were probably there to actually be able to maybe save the Carthus. Because you have your Guardian Shield and you might be able to stun. Here going boss lane is fine. There's nothing else really to do on the map. Uh, the thing is, you have to consider the Wukong Herald once again. And he needs to place it very soon. It looks like it's going to be placed mid lane. So you should instantly now, you notice him down on the ward here. So you should instantly go mid lane because you know he will Herald it and you have ult up. If you don't move mid lane here, you're troning. As you can see, you're trying to spawn. You have to rotate. You have to understand that you don't just play bot lane. Then you won't win a lot of your games. Yeah. A reason to run into Nautilus here. Like, Lucian needs. You need to ping Lucian away. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Good. You go back for Lugget. Don't buy a bloody control ward. There's nowhere, uh, nowhere you can place the control ward where it actually makes sense right now. Like, look, now you're wasting time again. Not doing anything. Yeah, if I can take uh, an item, I should go to base something, right? Yeah, you have Lugget. Like, what are you waiting for right now? What are you doing? You pretty much have reset during that entire time and gotten back to tower. Or you just ran around in your jungle. <laughs> and you know exactly what to stand now, so you don't have to like think about it like to for two three seconds. Now you can just do it instantly. Like, maybe to go practice tool and just practice instantly. Uh, it's a cool trick up against that Nautilus. The moment you see the hook animation, do towards him uh, when he stands in the mini wave because it will stun him on the minion and he won't be able to auto tag you after, so he won't root you. And then here, he's actually stunned under the turret here. Reset with your Lucian here, instead of wasting time laying control ward. Like, what did you benefit from removing that control ward besides it costing 5 seconds? Yeah, almost nothing. Really nothing, like 75 gold, a knife. What are you going to use that control ward for? What is there on the map that you can use the control ward for right now that's going to benefit your team? There's no, no objectives. There's no objectives on the map. And you're either gonna, like, you already have a like a winning bot lane. Mm -hmm. Flash. Cool. You would not have been able to kill him. I think it's a good uh, good thing to do if you had ignite. But since you don't have ignite, you won't have enough damage. You auto tag, auto tag is only around 400 damage. But, uh, is it still worth to take Z flash? Yeah, but you wouldn't know if Z flash, right? That shouldn't have flashed. You, you you shouldn't go for play and expect the hope that they make a mistake, right? You have to always expect it to make the right play. Yeah. He's gonna take the ball. He's gonna take the ball. Oh, no. Okay. So your instant thing there is to save the Lawi instead of going for the Akali. Mm. Could I save him? You had ga your Guardian and log it up. And there's a big fat minion wave, so I'm gonna refuse to believe that you wouldn't be able to stun him after that. So you effectively give him around 400 HP, right? On top of the HP he already had. But I thought like that. Uh, Akali has big shutdown and yeah, Akali but is very useless in this game because he doesn't want to play. He was tilted. Look at this. Look at this. Okay. And look at this ring. This means Sarah died. Oh. So you just take the kill away from Sarah and flash instead of just saving the Ilawi. Don't buy an Athena. Yeah, nice one. Right. Good. Okay. You can see your stupid control road means that you can't get your HP region. So, what I'm getting from like your POV, right, is that it doesn't seem like you're taking a lot of information from your map. Things like noticing people on wards, like Wukong going over and heralding and stuff like that. But you're not looking enough at your map. One thing I would really try to do is go on YouTube. There's a bunch of YouTube channels that have this like weird videos where it will say like a click sound or something like that every three or five seconds. And play games with that in the background and train your brain. Till every time it hears the sound, you have to look at the map. After a certain amount of time, you will constantly look at the map even without that click sound going in the background. You'll get a lot more map awareness because of that. 
and that should also increase your movement around the map because you have more information making it easier for you to actually react and even be ahead of the curve of a plane does that make sense to you yeah of course i, and, will, I will try it <laughs> fantastic that's like you're missing out on a lot right because that's bart's biggest strength is the the amount of pressure you can put on the map and how much you can cancel out on That the Sarah actually uh, helped him. Oh my god, Lucian got it. That should not have helped. So, why, why do this? Don't chase. You have no one behind you. Don't! Yeah, I, I was trolling. I'm going forward! <laughs> ah! I am doing this mistake. Uh, at least once every game, I don't know why. Yeah. Or forcing. And then you blame your Lucian. <laughs> Big no no, okay? Uh, what can Lucian do here? Let's look at this again. And just follow what Lucian is on the minimap. He's up here. When I was playing, I thought uh, we could have killed them. But after watching the game they have put uh, hp under that turret mistake. yeah never blame like that you re legitimately don't benefit anything then he even walked up right so you got out mm -hmm. and you ended up walking back in yeah so it was totally my mistake yeah you're, you're lucky that Nautilus gets the kill the uh, only gets 150 instead of 450 but yeah <laughs> never do this Completely minimize this. Don't blame. And, uh, I have a my biggest problem is uh, around 18 and between 18 and 25 minutes. Yeah. So in those seven minutes, you have your biggest issues. What what issues? Uh, I am trying to get vision and I am overforcing because <laughs> I don't know why. You just want I to put. Just put try a... to get vision constantly. Just go from base. And put a ward in the in the pit that's all you need to do there's no reason to try to get all your wards around it if you just know that they are not in the pit you don't ever have to walk up and get the perfect vision you have stacking dragon right now right so baron isn't even win condition for you guys it's just dragon you just want to make sure that they don't try to sneak it right now it's spawned and there's no wards on it but you know wooken spot so they're very likely not on it but you, it is a mistake for you being bot lane you need to be up here place a ward and then you can be where you want to be like, why are you bot lane when Nautilus is moving around the map, you know? You're never going to be able to kill Jin, right? Because he will always scale for your ult. Yeah. Don't lazy man portal. Don't. You don't have flash, and you're constantly moving into unknown territory, right? So you have no way of getting out if you somehow walk into them. They just killed Ilawi, so they're very likely on Baron. Could be on Baron. Right now, you have vision on three people. It's insanely easy for you to just walk in, put a ward, and then leave. Okay, just put a ward in the pit. Over the ward. Why not do it? Because I saw him on top side. Oh, so what? The ward lasts for three minutes, right? Yeah, of course. Uh, you don't have to worry about it for the next three minutes, and you can reset by your Knight's Vow. Mm. What are you doing? You have two members resetting. Don't go for an invade. Keep be behind you. Into the portal. Uh, so... Karthus is going there, and he was alone, so shouldn't I help him? If, if you see a person on a bridge jump off the bridge, would you jump after them? <laughs> no. So why, if you see someone go on a suicide mission into enemy jungle, why do you go in and try to die with him? You're lucky that there's no one in there, but you don't, you don't have your team because they're resetting. That's an indicator that you also have to reset. It's not an indicator that you have to try to be a hero and save a person doing something stupid. Just have to listen to your gut and know if it's a right call or a bad call. If it's a bad call, ping it away and move away. There's no reason to have two people dying if you can minimize it to one. Right? Yeah, makes sense. Right now you don't want to fight because you want to look for reset to get wards in the night vow. You also, once again, where's solution? All the way over here. So why do you want to fight? Why are you engaging on it? Basically, what just happened is you got a free TP 
and you can now look to reset without them being able to do anything. But because you over engage here, they're very likely gonna kill you and then turn it into a Baron. Yeah. And then you lose the game off of that. I don't check at all. Where's my teammate? That's once again leading back to that click thing where you look at the map all the time, right? You actually do end up winning it, which is a miracle. I don't understand how, but it's good. But it's not because you did something right. Yeah, it was uh, like... Well, it's a two for two. Maybe you can get the set. Uh, it's a good try. I don't think that's ever a reason for you to flash Q like that. Because he ends up killing you because of it, you know? The, he can't get away, right? Because you loop around anyways. You have the, the shorter route. So flashing like that just makes it easier for him to actually kill you. Yeah, and I could have stunned Z, maybe. I yeah, if you... Might, yeah. yeah, I would not have flashed there. No, I feel like you always catch, his, uh, catch him. I think the night well, solution doesn't run away from you. Uh, should I always uh, use on the AD carry? No, I... but in, in this game, it's your carry, right? He is the most important member on your team. You don't want to keep Karthus alive, right? Because you just want him to die so he can not... And Zerath is always going to be so far away, so you want to use an illusion. But if your AD carry is really weak, and you still feel like you have a hyper carry, or a super important mage, or a super fit jungler, then you use it on them. But you have to use it. Right now you're just not using it. Click one illusion! You have not activated it yet. There we go. Fantastic. <laughs> Once again here, right? You got the dragon. So if you try to take a random fight now, when you don't have ult and stuff like that, there's nothing for you to really benefit. There's a lot of you, for you to lose. Unless Seth does that and takes the Hexec portal into you, holy shit. That's not really you, really you taking a fight, it's more like him just running it down. But like, be smarter about your decisions. What can I gain from this versus what can I lose from this? If one is uh, weighs a lot more than the other, you should probably listen to that, right? After Dragon. You often want to, uh, your, your team often wants to reset. You also want to reset because you have now used all the majority of your wards for the bot side. And you want to transfer all that vision up to the top side of the map. Because that's why Baron, the next objective is, aka Baron. But when you don't reset, now you only have two wards. You want to place one in the river, uh, in the mid lane. And you want to place one around in the jungle and then another one in the river. You can't do that because you don't have enough. You also once again engages while Ilau is bot and Karthus is top jungle. So you don't have any front line, you don't have any consistent damage. You're baiting your team into a bad fight again, right? You can see now you're in a situation where you have no wards, and Baron is not warded. Now you reset, and now it's scary. Don't buy the control wards. Why? For what? Is it bad? Yes. Tell me this, read me this. This control ward, you, these control wards you just bought, right? Are they going to be able to make you do Baron? Or will you getting a pick give you Baron? And will the control wards give you a pick? No. Will a cloth armor make you survive longer and give, make you more likely to win a team fight? No. Okay. So right now, what's gonna happen is, right? You're gonna push out mid lane, get control over river, place a random control ward that does the same job as the sweeper you have, and then you forfeit control over river very likely. They get mid lane control, and then they remove your control ward. Or you place a random control ward there that does absolutely fuck all. Because you know they can't have vision there. Yeah. You also have your sweeper that you just don't use. Right? And your sweeper the area that you control warded. And I'm not trying to be mean here, I'm sorry. It's just... It's very, very bad that you have now bought four control wards in a game that does absolutely fuck all. It's 300 gold you're wasting. Yeah, no problem. As long as you have... <laughs> and you forgot that you don't have mid lane prior, so now you just walk in here instead of like walking upwards. And you end up getting caught. And what's gonna happen here? Oh no. If he walks in here and what removes your control ward? Uh, oh. Why did I get caught in that position? I don't remember. Why you got caught? Because you're not paying attention to the meter map. Look at this. So, first rule of everything, right? You need to push out mid lane before you start doing stuff, or you have to at least go to a territory you know you have control over. Since you have wars up here, you know you can just go directly up because you don't know you know there's no one there. 
but you don't know who's actually mid lane, so you decide to go directly from river towards mid lane, and you end up walking directly into them. Because when red team pushes out mid lane, right, the first thing they want to do when they are pushed this far up is to try to put vision in your jungle to, for them to get control over jungle, right? And you end up walking into them, even though that should be obvious that that's what they want to do, right? So you can see here, you even see Akali on the minimap, and you still walk into her. You have her on your screen. You have Nautilus, and you still walk in instead of instantly moving backwards, right? <laughs> yeah, it's Iron Boy. And this then snowballs into Ilaoi TPing, which I don't understand, which then Ilaoi dies, and it's just game losing. It's really, really bad in a wi very winning situation, right? You're having stacking dragons right now, and you have complete control over the entire game. Yeah, just one mistake caused a lot of. I don't think you will lose the game off of it, but you it will make it harder to win because of it. Because you just give them random gold that they shouldn't have gotten. Mm -hmm. Well played by Seth. He gets 1k. This is also a butterfly effect of what you did, right? Because you're not there to be able to lock it and heal and shield and all that lovely stuff. You also have a control lord so you can buy more cloth armor. So you have to start playing more around your team. You use so much time away from your team. I don't know if you've noticed it uh, by like going through this game. But a lot of the time you're just gone your way, right? What should I do? I don't really you always play around your mid lane and your AD carry. You don't want to ward alone either. You want to help them clear out, uh, clear jungle camps or other stuff. And then you go from there. Nice, he ended now. See? That's the same thing he did against the Lucian, but now you're here to heal and shield. Yeah, you're right. Now you're gonna place that control right there, and the other one was completely wasted. So you've used 150 gold to remove one ward. Mm -hmm. I'm just like really putting it into stone. So you can see that that really needs to be a goal with the control ward. If you don't have a direct goal where you know you will benefit, then you shouldn't buy it. Okay. He's in the pit. He's in the pit. He's out of the pit. Your job, keep the walking away. Because he's the one who gets to steal the Baron. Ooh. Yeah, so you should always be on the left side here. You should not care about Akali. Akali can't do shit, right? Akali can't kill the people in the pit. You can maybe kill Sarath, but it won't lose your Baron. But you're just ignoring the Wukong. Because you don't have plenty of time to just walk over here and stop him. And try to get him away. Like all of you at 4k should instantly turn on Wukong, get him away. But you just try to burst it and it, it get, becomes completely 50-50, right? But it's a 50-50 where he can control the burst damage when it's this low. It's not a 900 versus 900 smite. It's a Wukong EQ smite, which is more like 1500 damage. As you can see here. Arthas can't do anything. It's not his fault. It's the same as it would at least in, right? When they have an execute on the Q. Why it does so much more damage that it becomes really hard. But hey, this should be soul, right? If I can count. Might be wrong. Yep. Yeah, it was so, I guess. Why, why chase? Go get the soul. Oh, thank you. Like, why are you doing this? And now Karthus is left down here with Seth. So instead of just getting the free dragon, you decide to chase the Akani. And you flip a lot of shit, right? And the jungler ends up dying. Lucian is a man though. It was all my bad because my team was following me. Yeah, it's body language basically, right? Your team is doing very well, so even when you make a bad decision, you still somehow end up benefiting from it, right? But you just need to make sure that you actually have a goal of what you're doing. You don't have that right now. It's not like you're playing towards your win condition, right? You're very much in the mindset of I will I see a champion and I chase the champion. No matter what happens, right? Yeah. Now you get baited by time number 54 here instead of just pushing up with Lucian. So now Lucian can't push up because you're not there, right? So you lose out on the tier 2 turret because you want to collect times instead. Like the tier 2 turret is like a few hits away, so it, should, it was very easy for you to get it. Don't get baited. 
Don't get baited by your champs. Yeah? I, if you didn't say this, I wouldn't realize it. No, that's... That's what I'm here for, right? Akkadians, fantastic. Don't ult here. Do not ult. Like, no matter what you catch, it, catch them, right? That is just gonna W over the wall, so he gets to live. And this dude was already e so he has like a, what, 60-70% movement speed debuff on him. So this is why you don't want to ult, because you want to wait for them to use their mobility things. Sarath is a king and still kills him though, because he legitimately hit every fucking Sarath ult. I don't think he missed one. Hmm. Like, it's one, once again one of those things, right? When you ult here, what will happen after, right? Is your team close enough to be able to do anything? Like, look at this. Pay attention to where your team is. They are far away. So, Karthus will never get into range, and Sarath will be able to, what, Q or W, right? Mm -hmm. He's left at 1200 HP, but he dies because Sarath hits 1, 2, 3, 4. <laughs> All of them. <laughs> Instead, keep your ult. Keep auto attacking the, the Nautilus, have your slows keep continuously hit set, and the minute he Ws, then you ult him, because there's no way he gets away then. Okay. Don't ult if there's not a reason to ult when you already have caught your target, basically. So even though you tried your best to basically lose the game, you still end up winning this one. But I hope I made it very obvious how many macro mistakes you made that made this game a lot harder than it had to be. Yeah. It was very sad to, to watch. It's, it's sad to I watch, but it's a big lot. learning experience, right? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Do you have any questions or anything, Magical Journey? I don't know. Well, if you don't know, that's okay. If you end up having a question in a minute, shoot my, uh, it my way on Discord an hour. Shoot it my way on Discord a day, a, a week, whatever, right? Just shoot it my way on Discord. <laughs> Discord is always the best place to ask me these uh, longer or micro or macro decision questions because it, it will stay there and I get time to think about it. Plus, I can answer it whenever I have time for it, right? So just ask as much as you want through the Discord. It's the best thing you can do, like in a direct message, not in a like, Discord group. And it gets lost as well. Okay. Uh, are you saying for only this game or uh, any game? If you have any questions made about anything League related, Oh, okay. Thank you. Not, not just this game, A any game, right? I recorded this as always. I'm gonna upload it privately to YouTube, and you should have the video over in around an hour or so. Okay, thank you so much.